Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 40 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We'll start with Hedera at number 31, followed by Falcoin, Internet Computer, LidoDAO, Quant, Mental, Kronos, Aptos, Arbitrum, and then we'll end it with VeChain at number 40. Let's get straight into it. HBAR against BTC. Here we are for HBAR. Hit the skinny pink line. Any signs of a... Yeah, no, we are actually overbought to be honest. We zip into overbought territory. The last time we zip into overbought uh, territory, what happened? Right, we zip back lower, right? So I'm expecting a zip back lower. So the question we were asking, we've been asking for some time, whether if this is the very low. Could we still see uh, another lower low? For HBAR, BDC? Maybe. The thing is, we're still under the skinny pink line, so the bias is still bearish for HBAR against BTC. HBAR against USDT. Here we are for HBAR, USD. Any clear sign? No. Was a, we're not sure. <laughs> Uh, okay, this could become an ascending triangle, which would be awesome, right? Just zip back up a little bit more, form the third valley, and then zoom, we zip up, right? That would be awesome for HBAR. But at this point of time, we're still not entirely sure. Uh, because the thing is, this is looking to me like a rising channel, rising wage kind of a chart pattern, and usually rising channels, rising wages drop lower, right? The last time we got it over here, what happened? we drop lower, right? So there is that possibility that we could still drop lower. And you could see that the volume is so high, close to the top. So distribution uh, is happening. On the smaller time frames, you'll be able to see it. Um, yeah, the wheels are selling. So yeah, accumulation is when you see volume at the bottom. When you see volume close to the top, uh, I think distribution is happening. I'm not saying we can't go any higher, but wheels are selling over here, right? Moving on will be Falcoin against BDC. Here we are for Falcoin. Um, yeah, so the question we always ask is, is this, you know, when, when things were rising, right? Uh, we were asking, is this the bottom? You know, you can do a replay. Okay, so if you do a replay, uh, you'll be able to see, okay, this zip up, right? Coming on for Falcoin against BDC. So the question again you ask is, is this the bottom, right? Uh, so another thing you want to look at is the trend. Are we under the skinny pink line? Skinny pink line, or are we above the skinny pink line? We're under the skinny pink line, so the bearish bias continues for Falcoin. Uh, and after that, yeah, eventually, eventually, what happened? We zip back down, right? This was a lower low. Again, uh, there was a zip back up coming. Uh, I mean, that came for Falcoin. When you see things like this, you must be very, very careful. Just look at the skinny pink line. We're still under it. So the Bear, uh, trend is still on. So, yeah, I know th this is a cut through, but the thing is, is this a sustainable move? Sure, uh, we are aware that this whole thing could turn into an inverse head and shoulders, maybe. But we have to stay above the skinny pink line. So that's why it's very important to wait. See this right shoulder first of the inverse head and shoulders before doing anything, right? Sometimes, uh, I mean, of course, we could just zip back up, right? Of course, anything is possible. But the point is, <laughs> you want to be, uh, you know, safety is always number one priority. Uh, and eventually, what happened? We zip lower. We didn't get the inverse head and shoulders, right? So we want to see this first. We have to stay above the skinny pink line. We couldn't. The bearish trend was so strong for Falcoin, and Falcoin continues to bleed against BTC. Um, and again, look at this the volume. Look at the volume that came. Right. Mm. Anyway, uh, we got a lower low. <laughs> Any clear signs of a reversal for Falcoin against BTC? No, you don't see any uh, bottoming or any, yeah, no, we don't see anything for Falcoin against BTC. So that's why you have to be very, very careful and you have to respect the skinny pink line, right? Respect the trend. Falcoin against USDT. Here we are for Falcoin. Yeah, but Falcoin has been going sideways. Bitcoin has been rising. Falcoin, sideways. Eventually, hopefully, right, we'll see a spike back up for Falcoin against USD. Again, we still always ask the question, is this the bottom, right? Is this uh, the ABC that we are seeing that, that is going to you know, result uh, in a move higher, right? Where we eventually break the skinny pink line, where we eventually get a potential with E and then we break higher. You see that? A, B, C, D, E. Boom! And then we break higher for Falcoin. This would be awesome, but again, we, st we still don't see it yet. Uh, we're aware that uh, we could still get a, a, another lower low, right? This was the low of the low. It's, again, this, something like this could also happen. 
right? We are not entirely sure, so we are proceeding with caution for Filecoin. Internet computer against BTC. Here we are for internet computer. We have two targets uh, that we acquired way back on the 8th of August, and we're still anticipating more downside for ICP, right? You can see that all the way, you know, when it was coming down, you can see mountain ranges. Mountain, 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 zip down. Mountain, mountain, zip down. Again, mountains, zip down. Again, you see this? One, two, three, four mountains, zip down. Again, mountain, mountain, zip down. Mountains, zip down. Mountain, mountain. Respect the trend. As long as we are under the skinny pink line, we remain with our bearish bias for ICP against uh, BTC. Again, any clear targets for us? Yeah. 1190 and 1030. I think we're going to break back into 1000, right? Which is uh, 10,000 Satoshis. We're going to break back into 1000. Right now we had 1003. So, yeah, a little bit more to go uh, as we break into uh, potentially yeah, 900 plus sub 1000. So, another 26%. It's brutal, bro. Brutal ICP against USDT. Yeah, three dollars. We're expecting three dollars to be breached. Uh, we're at three seventy four. So a little bit more towards the downside. Uh, I don't think this is the low. I think we're gonna head back towards uh, three dollars, right? So a little bit more downside. So the the question, even if we get a three dollars move, right? We go into sub three dollars. We still have to ask a question: Is this the low? Right, we're three dollars. Those so three dollars could be a round number, so you might expect uh, a pump coming on to hit the skinny pink line. Maybe again, we're not entirely sure. We don't have any clear reversal yet. You know, things that uh, uh, that can go wrong will go very, very wrong. Right, uh, the last time uh, we were, let's say, for example, round number twenty dollars. You might think that uh, twenty dollars is a very nice area uh, to you know put on a trade and expect a pump uh, to come in. Right, but eventually we didn't pump. We zip lower. This was brutal from $20 all the way down to $4. That's almost 75%. Brutal. So even over here, right, we're still in a bearish uh, trend. So that's why it's very, very important uh, to be careful about rushing into anything, especially for ICP at this point of time. LDO, Lido Dow against BTC. LDO against BDC, we have a target here, 3,007, we're at 6,000, so still a long way down for LDO. I'm going to assume this is a A, B, yeah, this, this could be a three wave down. The third wave down uh, could be yeah, mirroring uh, the distance of, first wave, of the first wave. So again, still a long way down, uh, potentially 37%, right? Uh, we have some clear support over here. So I suspect if we were to see any bounce, we would still uh, hit 3790 first before seeing any sort of a bounce. Of course, at this point of time, we could also uh, see a rally from here. But again, we're not entirely sure. So yeah, LDO is a no-go for us in terms of uh, tradability. Even LDO against USD, we're already uh, you know, kind of under the skinny pink line. Right? We, we, we fail uh, to break back up above the skinny pink line. So there is weakness. You can smell the weakness from the charts. So this is a something like a descending triangle. right? We might get another mountain over here, uh, but I suspect uh, that this would be eventually the big fall for LDO against USD. Previously, we got a head and shoulders over here. We were anticipating things to just keep on you know, dropping, but uh, eventually a rally came in. And after the rally came in, we got slapped back down again. Rally again, got slapped again. <laughs> now we're back to the support. So again, there might be a rally. Uh, we might uh, zip back up slightly above the skinny pink line as well. And then after that, yeah, I'm expecting LDO to still continue lower because for the BDC pair, there's still huge targets. So LDO is not really looking that good, boys and girls. You have to be very, 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 very careful about rushing in. It's just not really looking that good. Quant against BTC. Quant against BDC is, again, we're not entirely sure what's happening. Uh, <laughs> we know that there's a noisy area over here. So we might be heading towards uh, sub 3,000, which is about 300,000 Satoshis. Sub 3,000, right, so we're at 3,004. So a little bit more to go, maybe around, I don't know, 18% more for Quant against BDC. Towards the downside, uh, any clear signs of a reversal? No, not yet. Uh, I mean, of course, if we just rally and, you know, we get an inverse and shoulders, yeah, sure, but 
again, even then, we are still under the skinny pink line. So the bearish bias is still strong for quant against BDC. So we still remain with our bearish bias for uh, quant until we see proper, proper uh, bullish reversals. Quant against USD, okay, it's looking really brutal, right? You can just draw a line across and you will see it's a huge, huge uh, descending triangle. Huge, huge. So I don't think uh, our targets at 67 is it. We acquired this target way back uh, in March and we still are adamant uh, that quant should be dropping lower towards $67 because it's so bearish. This is so, so bearish, right? Look at this, mountains, 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 zip lower, right? Mountains, yeah, mini mountains. In the smaller time frames, you'll be able to see that every time, I mean, throughout uh, the move over here, right? Every time we rally, we get pulled down, 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 right? Again, rarely get pulled down, we get pulled down, we get pulled down. We, we just keep getting slapped, you know? It's like Bruce Lee lives around here, right? And every time somebody rises, he just gives a nice slap. Pa! And this was a very big slap that came. You see that? So the selling pressure is still very huge. And we still anticipate big downsides for quant, so be very, very careful about rushing to a trade too soon for quant. Mental MNT against, okay, I don't think we have it on BTC. So let's just look at the USD pair. Uh, MNT, USDT. Uh, is it on gate? Oh, there's nothing much. Uh, Maxi? Okay, there's just nothing much for us to work with. It's a fairly new coin. Uh, okay, let's look at it on Bybit. Anything for MNT on Bybit? <laughs> scary. Okay, look over here. Do you see this? Do you see this? Mountain range. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Whew! Look at the journey. <laughs> uh, nope, 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 nope. We're not doing that. Moving on. Kronos. CRO against BTC. We'll look at it on KuCoin. Let's zip up to the daily. Yeah. So for uh, Kronos against BTC, we're severely oversold. Yes, we're still under the skinny pink line. And so, uh, so that's the question we've been asking uh, for many months. Will this low hold? You know, will we get a very nice uh, ABCDE kind of a chart pattern, right? As Kronos heads higher, will we get it? We're still largely under the skinny pink line. Trend is still very bearish. We have a very clear resistance line over here. Uh, we're still under the, the under the uh, resistance line, right? And throughout the journey down, you can see mountains zip down. See this? Mountains zip. Mountains zip. Once <laughs> you see another <laughs> mountain here, yeah. uh, this might not hold. Again, we're not too sure. Uh, we're already very, 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 very oversold. So there could be a very strong rally coming on, right? And, and if and when it comes, it'll be very sudden. I'm assuming that it'll be sudden because uh, over here previously on the February, February 2021, there was a sudden zip up uh, coming. Uh, I mean, that came for CRO BDC. Will we see a sudden zip up? Remains to be seen for CRO BDC. CRO USDT. Yeah, again, there's just nothing much for us to work with. Uh, we keep forming lower lows, lower lows, lower lows. Again, any any signs of life uh, for CRO against USD? Nope. Uh, are we going to get another lower low? <laughs> Very likely. Are we still in a bearish trend? Yeah, ever since we crossed the skinny pink line, we switch bias uh, our bearish our bias to bearish. So we're still bias bearish for crypto.com coin uh, against Tether, right? Uh, still no signs of a reversal and we already took out the lows, the all-time lows for crypto.com coin. And uh, I think we could be getting another new all-time low. We're already at five cents from the very, very high of uh, one dollar. But this is really 95, I think. Yeah, 95. Brutal, brutal, really brutal. Uh, still no clear signs of a reversal, so yeah, nope, nope, we're not doing anything. Aptos against BTC. Apt against BTC on Binance. Yeah, again, things are not looking good. Um, sure, uh, you can argue that this is a lower low, maybe a double bullish divergence. Again, there, there could be a strong rally. It was severely oversold, but I still don't see any bottoming. I still don't see any clear uh, reversals coming on for Aptos yet. So I'd be careful about rushing in for Apt BTC. App USD, we have two targets over here, $5.50 and $4.40. So we're still anticipating more downside for Aptos. Hey, look at this. 
there is an alert over here. So we're interested in Aptos, but uh, it needs to behave the way that we expect it to. Uh, otherwise, mm, no, we're not doing anything. Uh, could Aptos start turning bullish from here? Of course. Any signs of a reversal, bullish reversal? No. So we still remain loyal to our targets at 550 and 440. So be careful about rushing into a trade too soon for Aptos. Arbitrum against BTC. Here we are for Arbitrum. We have a target over here, 3004. We acquired on the 8th of June. Right now, we're already in uh, August 17th. So more downside is to be expected for Arbitrum BTC. I still don't see any clear reversals yet. So be careful about rushing into a long for Arbitrum. Uh, against USD, yeah, not so clear. It's just not so clear. We're not really sure what Arbitrum is uh, trying to do. So yeah, nope. We are not going to be rushing into anything. VeChain, VeChain against uh, VTC, Binance, yeah, it's down. So we anticipate these two lows to be taken up. Right, I don't think it's gonna hold. So another zip lower for VeChain against VTC. Any hot targets? Nope, no hot targets. But we're still buyers bearish for VeChain against VTC. Right, we're still under the skinny pink line. So more downside is still being expected for VeChain BDC. VeChain USD. Uh, yeah, again, there's just, just nothing much for us to work with, right? Over here, yeah, we would have uh, anticipated a very nice inverse head and shoulders, but it didn't come. It didn't come. We just zip lower, right? Uh, again, you can also argue that this whole thing could be a left shoulder, right? It could come back up for a right uh, hit and a right shoulder. Yeah, it could be going power up, but again, uh, I still don't see any clear signs of a reversal yet, so I'd be very, very careful about rushing to anything for uh, VeChain. Alright boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's top 40. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.